I might dress for this. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I. I got, my, <laughs> got my house coat on. And I didn't like, shave today. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. I haven't shaved <laughs> 1973. So you're going to tell yeah, me a so story. I, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> Sit back, children. <laughs> One inappropriate joke later. <clears throat> I'll begin again. There, here we go. Ready? All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good anecdote. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, terrible. <laughs> So I went to the doctor today. Yes. Can you see me okay? I can see you as well as I want to see you. <laughs> Jesus. I went to the I went to the doctor today. It turns out I didn't have an appointment like I thought I did. So that was the first thing. Um, what was your first red note notice that you uh, didn't have an appointment? They said, "Yeah, uh, you're not in our system." You have an appointment on Monday. And I was like, oh, yeah. And today is Tuesday. Not, not Monday. Yeah, right. next, next Monday. Oh, not yesterday. No, 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 no. I, I set up this appointment yesterday. And I remember this while she was saying, you don't have an appointment today, that while I was on the phone yesterday, she said, oh, I have an appointment tomorrow at 940. And I said, mm, hmm, because we had, you know, a meeting. And I was like, oh. Next one, next one's Monday, and I should really get this done sooner. So let's go ahead and do the 940. And she's like, "Oh, someone took it while we were talking." What? And somehow I, log I logged in my brain that I still had that appointment. <sighs> so I showed up, and they were like, "No, let me see what we got." Oh well, we have one at 10:20. I was like, "Well, that's you know another 40 minutes. That's not a big deal." And she said, "Here's the paperwork. Fill this out." And I sat down put my name at the top of the paperwork, the door opened, Matthew. Uh, and they were ready for me right away. So I went back, they did the weight thing, blood pressure, all that stuff. And like two minutes later, the doctor came in. She says something along the lines of, you know, after the hello and nice to meet you and stuff, because it's the first time seeing her. She said, well, you get to be my first patient with the new Epic. And I was like, Epic? And she tell me more. She, tell me more. <laughs> she she turned the uh, the swivel screen thing that they type on. You know, I don't know what doctor's offices are like in Atlanta, but uh, we don't have them. <laughs> we, don't, <laughs> we don't need them. <laughs> we, we walk. We walk everything off. Right. Um, she turned it, the screen around and it said "epic" on on the screen. I was like, oh. Today's her first day of a new system. And she logged in and she the screen came up and she was like, what? Wait. And it was just like good use of like white space, but the screen was just filled with stuff. And it wasn't clear where she was supposed to start. And it took like five minutes to figure out how to like actually begin the appointment. And she said, normally you don't see any of this stuff, but... Did you and say, said, it's okay, I'm a software designer? I said, no, I said, of all the people to be your first patient on this, I'll be your most sympathetic one. I'll, I'm your most sympathetic audience possible. And it kind of turned into a regular appointment slash contextual inquiry. Obviously, I wasn't getting paid to improve the system at all. but it's Like your normal projects. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. So, did she use it during the appointment yeah 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 she okay. uh the and there were times when she was like hunting around for the thing she knew she knew she was supposed to do next but couldn't figure out how to do within this new system uh my understanding is based on what like a, a small little comment she said they didn't get any training on the new system i was gonna ask about that um, just sort of rolled it out and good luck people that's um it's interesting. I've talked to other people, not doctors, but in the medical field who have been in that situation and they, these are bigger places like a hospital and they do have like training and then they have like 
what do they call it? Like coaches that were with them for the first couple of weeks and like oh really wow. ride sidecar with them to make sure everything goes well. So they did not get the white glove training. Yeah, I, and I don't know if it was just like she didn't like maybe mm-hmm. she was on vacation or, or something yeah. or or whatever. But because Providence is a pretty big medical company, whatever organization. Um, here in the Northwest. Yeah. And it was, you know, we got to the point where we'd gone through everything and she spent about two minutes saying, I don't know how to close the appointment. Like that was her, her term for like, you know, she was basically looking for the button to say, you know, save all the information I just did to this person's chart and print out the instructions for, for care after the mm-hmm. visit. And she said, I'm sorry. And I was like, it is not a problem because, you know, but, but, you know, if it wasn't me, if it was someone else who was like in, in more serious medical need than me and doesn't have the background and et cetera, et cetera, I can imagine that it would be very stressful for the doctor in that situation. I mean, it, it was stressful for her, well, know, but like, the patient. Less, though, what was that? And it could annoy the patient too. I mean, they want to get their right. appointment going on and, not wait right. for the doctor to figure out how to use the, the software. Right. So it's, it's interesting to me that the choices these, like any, any company rolling out a new system makes with this stuff. And I, I wonder, you know, did they do like a, a small rollout and then, or did they just like flip a switch and <laughs> good luck everybody. Well, in fact, I just got a, a letter from my doctor uh, a couple of weeks ago that they're rolling out some new system and the letter was basically saying we're going to have fewer appointments for the next whatever three four months. I forget what it was because they wanted to give their doctors and whatever doctor assistants more time to ramp up on the new system. So they were intentionally reducing their load over this transition period, which I thought was good. Yeah, it is good. And at the same time, it's like, well, that's less supply for the same or potentially growing demand, depending on what the population flux is for Atlanta right now. <laughs> Because initially, like when I called yesterday, my choice for appointments was initially today at 940 or the 26th of April. And, and while she was talking to me, something opened up on the 15th. But anyway, so mm-hmm. healthcare organizations, we should, we, we should be fake patients. That's how we should do the research from now on. Yeah. So much uh, better than being a real patient. Yeah. My sciatica is acting up. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is why I was there today, because my sciatica was acting up. Yeah, I just want to go in for the free lollipops. <laughs> so that was all. Scene. Scene.